Hello lovely people, welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to be sharing some of my daily routines in our tiny home, so you can see how I use the space. I've always been a person of routines. My morning routine has been the same for a couple of years now. I'm an early riser, so generally get up at around 5am. The first thing I like to do in the morning is move my body. This generally involves some Pilates or perhaps more gentle yoga. Having a space in a tiny home that ensures I can comfortably roll out my mat was essential. I cannot get on with my day until I've taken Sky for a walk. This is not optional. These vary in length, depending on how much time I have. I'm lucky to have lots of lovely local trails that we can walk to from our tiny home. I like to build variety into my days wherever possible. Although, like many of us, much of my time is spent in front of the screen, I try and take breaks from this as often as possible. My routines are built around investing in my physical and mental health. As you know, I like to spend a lot of time outdoors, so I've taken up a wee bit of gardening to give me another excuse to be out in the fresh air. So I've been gardening today. Can you tell? <laughs> um, I've never really gardened before. My family are all very green fingered. Um, and my mum recently got herself a polytunnel back home on the Isle of Arrow. And I went home recently and I just thought, this is cool. I really need to give this a go because we were eating lettuce straight from the garden. And I was like, right, let's just give it a go. <laughs> so I got some, I rescued some old pots that were just kicking around the garden. Got myself a bag of compost and yeah, I'm trying, apparently greens are quite easy to start with. So I've got lettuce, rocket, spinach and chives. So it just feels like, I don't know, when you're putting in these little seeds, like, will they actually become something? Who knows? I will keep you updated. But it's been quite nice. The day's been mixed weather-wise, so I've just got out between the showers and it didn't take very long. I mean, maybe like half an hour or so. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for greens. <laughs> Can 
tuning in the tiny homes with joy. Although it can get messy very quickly, it's also very quick to tidy up. I've really appreciated the extra time I get now that used to be spent on cleaning. I actually make my own all-purpose cleaner. Um, my friend got me these reusable bottles a couple of years ago and I love them. Um, so this is literally just half water, half vinegar, white vinegar, and then I put a drop of essential oils in just to mask that vinegary smell, which isn't actually too bad and it often goes away um, quite quickly as well. But I use lavender just because I had it anyway, but you can use whichever one you want, lemon, lemon would be quite nice. But yeah, it's a very cheap <laughs> way of getting cleaner and very non-toxic and more environmentally friendly. follow a vegan diet and really enjoy spending time in our tiny home kitchen. It's my favourite room in the house. So I'm in the kitchen because I'm going to be doing some food prep. I try and do this at weekends, usually on a Sunday, a Sunday today, um, and just create bits and bobs of food that I can eat through the week. So today I'm going to be making some banana bread because I got some bananas that very much need eating and also some chia pudding. Uh, if you've not had that, that's essentially, how do I describe it? Um, well, to make it, I basically blend plant milk, so I use soy milk, some sort of fruit usually, so I usually blend some soy milk with some strawberries and then put in some chia seeds, uh, quite a lot of chia seeds, and then leave it in the fridge overnight and it essentially creates this pudding consistency, um, which is really uh, yummy and I often add it with um, granola and other fruits, so it's like a nice mid-morning snack I tend to have it as, so that's what I'm going to be doing. To be honest, living in a tiny home um, isn't very different to living in a normal big size home. Um, my routines have stayed pretty much the same and we were able to build the home around our lifestyle, which was really nice. You know, we, we could really think about how we were going to use the space, what's the best way to use the space, you know, where we can sacrifice a bit of room, and where we want a bit more room, stuff like um, with the living space, you know, we didn't actually need it to be too big um, you just need to be able to fit a sofa <laughs> which would fit you know two people um, and a bit of floor space like I said to put my yoga mat out to exercise but we wanted more space in the kitchen because you know we've got more stuff in the kitchen we've got more food pots and pans stuff like that and I particularly really like cooking spending a lot of time in the kitchen so we decided to make a bigger kitchen and maybe a smaller living space but it works perfect for us um, but I hope you enjoyed this video giving insight a little bit more into some of my routines um, and habits living in a tiny home 
I'm definitely happy to do some more Tiny Home content so please just let me know what kind of content you would like to see and I'll try and make some videos on that and if you did like this video I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you want to see more Tiny Home content but until then.